Hey y'all. All right, there we are. Um, I started a minute earlier. Uh, if you, you should be able to hear me. If you can't hear me, let me know. Um, my name is Sean Hood. This is Jenna. Uh, she's just finishing up Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Really towards the end here. Really close to the end. And then uh, she'll join me on some songs, uh, you know, if she, if she finishes that story, I guess. Um, but I also just really wanted her to be in the room for this um, whole thing. And it looks like it's, uh, it looks like it's nine here, so thanks for joining us. Um, we are Eastern Mountain Time. y'all for joining us. Um, in case you're just joining us, uh, we are Eastern Mountain Time. And uh, 
That is uh, definitely uh, Hollows. Deathly Hallows. Deathly Hallows right there. It's taken me like um, eight months to reread them, but only a couple of days to get this far in the book recently. It's a big one, you know? So we, uh, we released a new album today called Seven. So we're here as kind of a celebration, a record release show. Um, that first song is on the new album, which you can find on our band camp. And then I'm, right now I'm going to play some, some older tunes and some songs that are even newer than the album. And then, uh, Jenna is going to join me for some of those, uh, album cuts. All right. The song's called How I Live. I'm looking for something Ain't easy to find Still believing there's something That ought to be mine I couldn't tell you I don't like How I live that there's more and I want some of it Now I got friends in the city Still looking for work Damn near turned 30 and I know that hurts Funny as hell, and I love everyone. I hope that if I had some, I would give them some. Money's tight, Christmas coming, but my baby don't mind. Tells me about summer and everything is fine. And I remember I'm lucky. And God damn it, she's kind. I might be lacking in some things, but I've got this time. I couldn't you out of this being young. But I'm glad that it's over. I'm glad that you come. to higher ground for, for hosting us tonight. I've been reflecting on some of the great memories that, uh, that, that higher ground has given to me, uh, largely of some shows that I've uh, been lucky enough to play there. Um, and it's always, it's always pretty magical and this, uh, this counts. What's, what's going on here is that I like how I look on Instagram on my phone a lot better than Facebook here, so it's hard to know exactly where to look. It's like there's more people watching on Facebook. Mirror. Yeah. What was that? Their mirror, like you're on that side, aren't they? Oh yeah, that yeah. is a lot. <laughs> um, 
But thank you all for, for joining us. Um, if you have questions or requests or anything, I can try to spot them uh, and address them. It can be a little hard. Uh, this is a new song. This uh, this next song is an especially old, an especially old song. It's maybe it's maybe ten years old. I remember I wrote it. Uh, it doesn't have any connection to the movie. Um, oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna space on it. The Jeff Bridges movie where he's like a country singer. Crazy Heart. Crazy Heart. I wrote it after I saw Crazy Heart, whenever, whenever year that came out. Um, it's called Another One for the Birds. Do you still talk to your birds? Do you chirp a little every word? Do you call them by their Christian names and ask them why they play the games that they play. Wonder what they would say about the 
games that we played. I told you you could go or you could stay, and it wouldn't matter either way. Where was not to call my bluff? Just lay down your cards and pack up your stuff. My old group, Sean Hooding the Great Outdoors, used to do that song. Um, all right. Um, what else? Um, I guess, let's see. Oh, man, stuff. Uh, thanks, y'all. I appreciate uh, all the pals here, and I very much appreciate all the strangers here. Uh, if you don't know us, uh, we are Eastern Mountain Time, Sean Hood on guitar and vocals, and Jenna Zolman finishing up the Harry Potter series so we can uh, watch all the movies. Uh, I finished reading the series a couple months ago. For the uh, first time. For the first time. Um, and, uh, now it's just, uh, now it's just a waiting game. My hair looks uh, a little less ridiculous on Instagram. Um, all right, I'm gonna do a, a Bob Dylan song that I've always liked playing. I don't think I've ever played it at a show or anything. Uh, but it's called To Ramona, and... It, it used to go like that, and now it goes like this. Ramona, come closer, shut softly your watery eyes. The pangs of your sadness will pass as your senses will. The flowers of the city, though breath like, get death like sometimes. And there's no use in trying to deal with the dying, though I cannot explain that in life. Your 
cracked country lips I still wish to kiss as to be by the strength of your skin Your magnetic movement still capture the minutes I'm in But it grieves my heart, love, to see you trying to be a part of a world that just don't exist It's all just a dream, babe, a vacuum, a scheme, babe, that sucks you into feeling like this. I can see that your head, it's been twisted and fed by worthless foam from the mouth. I can tell you are torn between staying and returning all back to the south. You've been fooled into thinking that the finishing end is at hand. Yet there's no one to beat you, no one to defeat you, except the thoughts of yourself feeling bad. Heard you say many times, you're better than no one, no one is better. If you really believe that you know you got nothing to win and nothing to lose. From figures and fixtures and friends, your sorrow does stand. That hype you and type you, making you feel that you must be exactly like them. I'd forever talk to you, but soon my words, they would turn into a meaningless ring. For deep in my heart there I know that there's no help I can bring. Everything passes, everything changes, just do what you think you should do. And someday, maybe, who knows, baby, I'll come and be crying to you. Thanks. That was to Ramona, by old Bob Dylan tune. We just got uh, a few more here. And then, uh, and then we're gonna do some of the some of the material from the uh, the the record that we put out today that you can find on our band camp. Um, you know, we had we had some plans and some dreams for this thing uh, to make a physical mm -hmm. CD and to do some touring, but that all got a little postponed uh, just because of everything. But we still wanted to just share share something, share some art with the world, uh, mm. something that people can, you know, enjoy or enjoy hating in their homes. Uh, so, yeah. Just here, we're like, oh, remember when we had to go to Eastern Mountain Time show sometimes? <laughs> um, but it's there if you want to check it out. 
um, if you want to buy it. The support is great if you just want to stream it. Uh, please feel free to just do that. It's only on Bandcamp, not Spotify or anything, because it's kind of a, uh, a for now release. So we didn't go all the way with it, but it's there for folks who who want to hear something something new from uh, from their neighbors, probably. I don't know where y'all are. We're in, we're in Winooski. Um, and here is a, a, an Eastern Mountain Time song called Fool That I Am that's on our last record, uh, Mountain Country, which is also on the band camp if you're interested. I tell myself I ain't waiting for you to come round. You're not testing my patience, but you can't keep me down. I try to talk like I hate you, then I try to forget. I've been drinking like a bigger man, and it ain't working yet. Because of you. Came back running. I'd probably let you in if you told me that you're sorry. I'd probably believe it. Fool that I am. The coldest summer. Ever did spend? I spent it watching you slowly leave again and again. For all the nights that I stayed up, closing down the bars, should have been out on a highway thumb rides from many old. Set out running, and I'll go through it again. If you told me you still love me, I'd probably believe it. Fool that I am. I just needed more time. To change your mind when I looked into your eyes, you thought I was joking. I just need more time to get my bullshit in line. But I meant it when I said it, honey, I'll quit smoking. Cause if you let you in if you told me that you're sorry I'd probably believe it fool that I am well I'd probably believe it fool that I am Um, let's see, I've done a couple of these, a couple of these live streams here, uh, and I'm kind, of, kind of getting the hang of it a little bit, enjoying having a way to be in touch with, with y'all. Um, yeah, it's, uh, very different from playing in front of an actual crowd, but not in, not all in bad ways. Um, some of it, some of it's real nice. I can't hear y'all talking to each other right now. I can't hear anyone, uh, if you're making like uh, a latte at home, I can't hear you steaming that milk. No one's playing pool. No one's playing pool. 
which is which is nice. You're, you're all very respectful for all we know. I think they are. Um, I'm gonna do another cover here because uh, I have fun doing it. I'm gonna play Amarillo by Morning, which is a Chris Ledoux song, uh, famously covered by George Strait, uh, and that I've uh, played at a lot of shows with. My bandmate Danny LaFrancois from Danny and the Parts, uh, and we recorded it together at Robot Dog Studios for like a live video maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago, I'm not sure, but it's out there, it's on YouTube, because uh, we just wanted to have it, because, I don't know, it's, uh, it's a special, special song for me, uh, Amarillo by Morning. For tuning in if you're if you're just joining us randomly we are eastern mountain time we are missing a few band members and we are missing them sorely um our new record that we put out today um our new record that we put out today uh has our friends uh alex bigelow and tony maples and maddie uh, hena and uh danny lafrancois all over it um we were gearing up to do some shows with everyone, and uh, we're still excited to do those, but missing the hell out of our uh, our little crew. Um, give me two seconds here. Things are really heating up in this book. I don't even know if I want to sing with you now. Um, stuff going on. I guess it's. There are probably a lot of people 
quarantine reading Harry Potter right now. We really don't want you to say I'm not going to I would never spoil. Even in 2020, that would be so mean. You never know. Oh, boy. I've really done it this time, Instagram. Can I help you with that? Um, it's all good. There we go. Sorry, y'all. This is very <laughs> unprofessional, but it seems like it's getting a lot of likes. <laughs> A lot of hearts for the incompetence part. Um, so I'm going to do one more uh, older song off of Mountain Country. Have you been seeing my butt crack this whole time? No. Um, one more older tune off of uh, Mountain Country, and then we're going to play uh, most of the songs off of the new album, Seven. Um, and thanks for watching. This one is called uh, If You're Missing Me, You Ain't Missing Much. to participate for probably a total of like 30 seconds per song but it was kind of it's worth it oh I think it's worth it it was kind of the point uh, of this record it has these beautiful vocals that, uh, that Jenna and our friend Maddie sang that we came up with for the songs um, and they just kind of like swell up in this in this uh, noticeable way in a noticeable way um and uh yeah so you got how you feeling about being pulled away from i mean some stories are being told all right um oh there's maddie i always
always know when I watch these live videos, it's always funny to watch the people looking at their uh, at their comments. Hey y'all, I just wanted to make sure I didn't uh, snub anyone. We're definitely here for you, so it's it's funny sometimes uh, not to be able to respond directly. But uh, this uh, this song is the first track off the new record, Seven. Uh, the song is Dolores Park. Uh, our pal Ray Paget at County Tracks premiered it last week with a, a cool write-up that he put together. Um, so I recommend checking that out, uh, as well as the record if you like and have probing questions about the backstory of Dolores Park.
Jenna Z. Right here. Hey, everyone. Something else. Really something else. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you. Jenna, Jenna also played uh, accordion on the album, which, uh, which sounds incredible on there. Uh, most people are surprised to find out that you play the accordion. It's true. Taught myself in college. Now I just have an accordion around. It's the best. It's not good for neighbors, though. It's not a good instrument to play quietly. No, that's true. It's hard on a nighttime. <laughs> I mean, it is, it's late, right? Everyone, yeah. Can everyone agree that it's late yeah. right now? Oh yeah, especially quarantine time, it's like midnight. 9 p.m. I mean, I love it that Higher Ground is trying to keep it rock and roll <laughs> with the uh, set times. But <sighs> yeah. you notice a lot of musicians I feel like are doing like uh, like live stream 2 p.m. Because uh, yeah. that's, that's like when we prefer, I think, to do it. <laughs> Wake up at noon, play it too. And then you've done something. You performed. That's it for the day. All right. Well, we got three more songs. All of them are off of uh, this new record that you can find on our band camp. Um, this is uh, this next one. I think is a band favorite called "On the Carolina Wind." That Tony's pedal steel part. I just the, wish we had a pedal steel. You no, know, we're missing Tony real, real bad. Um, but if you want to hear the captain, Tony Naples playing pedal steel, he's another surprise one. We got a lot of surprise musicians on, on this new album of ours.
on the Carolina wind Come to find you Where you've been Come to sing you Um, yeah, you're allowed to say that. That's like one of the, it's like one of the, a quarantine rule. You can like feel good about yourself after a good performance, whereas in front of other people you have to keep on hating yourself. Um, we just got two more songs here. Um, is anyone, oh my god. Hi Amy Brooke, good to see ya. Oh, our landlord joined. That's um, fun. I think now that we're getting towards the end of it, if any end of it, uh, last two songs here. If anyone does have any questions or anything, uh, I'll check them be before this all ends. I say like write them during this song. It's your last. Chance. I can't imagine what your questions would be, but all right. This uh, this uh, song called "Ambulance Blanket." Stay here for 
Y'all, this is so nice. Hey, Connor, been thinking a lot about you, bud. Uh, who's my hairstylist? All right. Not me. Are you planning a physical <laughs> release for Seven? Uh, Seven will have a physical release uh, when things, when we're able to start uh, playing shows again and uh, and all that. Um, probably gonna give it like a it's it's cover right now is not i don't think going to be its final cover i think that's its quarantine cover but i think it's a very appropriate and a uh, quarantine cover and i like it a lot yeah um but we'll probably blow it up a little bit uh and try to try to make it uh maybe uh look look big look big the record sounds <laughs> the record that? sounds big i think uh and it deserves a big cover and a physical release, so we're gonna we're gonna start doing that. Have you thanked Ben Buck yet? Um <laughs> yeah. shouting him out, no? <laughs> I mean is Sam Buck even here, you know? I don't know. Um fa uh, favorite Harry Potter book. Oh, oh great question because uh I hadn't read mine and we have the same one. The it's sixth. Uh, half half blood uh, prince. Yeah, right? Really good. Fight me. No, I mean, this, I'm really enjoying my read of the seventh right now because I don't remember it that well. A lot is happening. I didn't love five or seven. You didn't love seven. But I love six. <sighs> um, Whatever. Great questions. Hairstylists, I noticed a lot of fellas out there are just shaving it real, put, getting it real short. I don't even have the clippers to do that if I wanted to. Also, there's some, you know, there's some nothing up there. <laughs> um, but great question, Danny. Hope you're doing good. Can't believe I haven't seen you on more live streams, bud. Um, uh, and Connor, if you're still there, let's chat soon. Uh, I miss ya, and I want to know how everything's going. Um, but for now, uh, we just got one more song. We're going to do it pretty quick because uh, Instagram's going to kick us off. Yeah, we have three minutes. Um, we got three minutes, Maybe two minutes to burn through it. This song's called Real Slow. It's the last track off of Seven uh, that you can listen to on our band camp. Thank you to Higher Ground for hosting us here. We love Higher Ground. And, uh, and uh, thank you to Sam Buck. This song is called Real Slow. Uh, Instagram, we might lose you. I'm not sure, but uh, we're on Facebook. I don't know. Happening real slow. Don't hit the button. Which means it wasn't. 
joined us and uh, sent us little notes. This was really nice. Thank you, Higher so Ground. Nice. Um, please check out our new record if you are interested uh, and, you know, tell your friends about it if you think it might uh, enhance their quarantine. Mm -hmm. uh, send them a Marco Polo about it. Um, Zoom them. Zoom them. We really appreciate you. Thanks again. Uh, we'll, we'll hopefully see you real soon. All right.